y'all know about Man Up. Man Up is a male empowerment organization focused on empowering African American men in our communities. Um, and this is just one piece of um, Man Up that we just um, kind of brought into fruition. Today is about how to scale your brand in 2023. As we know, it's November. This year totally flew by. Um, but we want to talk about how do you take what you're doing. I know a lot of y'all in here have businesses, have organizations, are doing things. Um, you want to take it to the next level. And so today I want to talk about how do you scale your brand in 2023? What does that look like? Um, what do you need in place to make that happen? Scaling your brand is strategically positioning your business for exponential growth through systems, processes, and automation to leverage your time for optimum income and outcome. So problem number one, most people don't know their business. They have no client or customer pledge. Uh, client pledge is this, I help, this is something I do want y'all to write down. I help who, and it has two, the two can be interchangeable, but I help who do what basically was the goal by the solution or method that you provide so they can and the result of transformation. It's I help service-based entrepreneurs, so I'm very specific. Um, I used to work with product-based and, and service-based. Now we're strictly, um, our agency strictly works with service-based entrepreneurs. Um, scale their brands through strategic positioning so they can increase their bottom line and have more impact. Before the scale, um, I put this slide together because I know a lot of individuals, they just want to jump into like scaling. Target audience. Again, I have the homework up here in the corner because this is going to be homework if you don't. Um, already, if you haven't already done this for your business, you definitely need to do this for homework. Um, narrow your focus. You can service the right one, but you can't service everyone. Imagine for a moment that I was setting y'all up on a perfect day. You would ask, I would ask you, what's your type? If you said you prefer someone that has no kids and lives in Florida, this means everyone that is outside that scope better not get you up, right? Because you don't, you know, especially if you're like long distance, why in the world would you, you know, try to try to go for that person? It's the same way when discovering your target audience for your business. There's a group of people that will align with your checklist. And on, and on the target audience checklist, I have um, different demographics that you all, I want you all to touch on. Um, this group of people is your target audience, the people you want to market your product to. Now find them and introduce them to their to, to, to solution <laughs> to their problem. Number two, products and services. Um, the, you always got to go through this. Like, you have to know what your product and services are what problem they solve, what the solution your product offers, what experience it gives your customers, and a tagline. And then number three, your transformation process. So what was your client before and what is their after? And this is something I always come, like, when your clients come to you, what are they struggling with? What are they feeling? Like, what prompted them to make the change and take action? What is their biggest challenge and what is their problem? You need to identify that. Like here are the scale essentials, the three things that we're gonna talk about today that you'll need if you truly wanna to go to the next level. Number one, team. Number two, tools and resources. And number three, funding slash capital. How can you start to fund your business and get money in while you're trying to scale? Solution that I'm gonna to propose today that we're gonna to spend some time on, outsource. SOPs. This is what Essentially, and I won't even lie, this is something I'm still doing to this day. Um, you know, Bree helps me out with it right now. But this is the key to success when we talk about scaling your brand, scaling your business. A standard operating procedure is a set of written instructions that describes the step-by-step -step process that must be taken to properly perform a routine activity. It's about leveraging. We talked about that earlier. How do you leverage? And so a lot of you all, you gotta start thinking like, man, how do I get from working in my business to working on my business? For me, it was a simple switch. It was like, okay, this person has a job that needs to get done. This person can get the job done. I'm gonna connect the two people. So connecting, knowing how to leverage your time, leverage your words, that is what successful people do. Talk about Amazon, talk about all these things. That's what they're doing. And so again, in your business, how do you do that? What does that look like? You know, start thinking through these ideas. Oh, next steps. Um, I'm gonna see how these slides, read, read something of them together for me. Um, homework first, like if you haven't done the target audience, if you haven't done the statement, the I statement we did earlier, if you haven't done any of those things, start there because that is the key to scaling your business. Like you mentioned, like Ryan mentioned earlier, you cannot start scaling if you don't have, like if you haven't perfected what you do. Finishing quote, don't complain about the results you didn't get from the work you didn't do. 
if you don't do the work, if you don't take anything that we said in here and you apply it, that's what it is. Faith without works is dead. And we kind of already did Q&A, so I'm going to go ahead and um, close it out. so we all can eat and then we can go at the bigger projects and we can do things together.